The 15th of August has always been an important date for Mahindra and Mahindra and this year was no different. The brand has unveiled its future plan for electric vehicles and they've also showed off their new sub brands and the new platform. So what does all of this mean? Let's find out. Now first things first, Mahindra has revealed its Inglow platform. Now this skateboard platform is what all of its future electric vehicles will be based upon. Now if you're wondering about the name, the IN stands for of course India and GLOW stands for Global. This platform has been derived from Volkswagen's MEB platform. Now Mahindra's Inglow platform is going to be very modular in terms of its design and architecture in a way that Mahindra can make a lot of different body styles in this one platform. Now firstly, this platform will offer varying levels of battery capacities. So you could have anything ranging from 60 kilowatts to 80 kilowatt hours. These batteries, they will offer an option of fast charging of 175 kilowatt. This means that the vehicle can be charged from 0 to 80% in less than 30 minutes. Now this platform will offer two kinds of drivetrain. The first is a rear wheel drive format or an all wheel drive format. Now the rear wheel drive format that will have a power ranging from around 230 horsepower to around 290 ish horsepower and the all wheel drive format which will of course have more power will have power ranging between 340 horsepower to around 390 horsepower. Mahindra also promises that the 0 to 100 time for this platform could be around 5 to 6 seconds. Other than performance, Mahindra has also paid a lot of focus on the handling characteristics of the vehicle. So the platform is capable of having a semi-active air suspension. You also have your multiple drive modes wherein you can alter the motor or the feel from the steering wheel and other factors as well. Mahindra is also targeting a 5-star global NCAP safety rating for this platform, making the cars one of the safest in their class. Of course, this platform will be loaded with technology and you can expect end-to-end -end HD screens, 5G connectivity, or the air updates, a heads-up display with augmented reality, and even level 2 plus autonomous driving technology. Now, Mahindra has revealed two brands under which these electric cars will be sold. The first is the XUV. Now, the XUV brand is more of an evolution of the current XUV brand that we see. So you have your XUV700 under this brand. Now the logo for this brand will be copper colored which shows that it has evolved more into the future. The first product which we will see under this brand will be the XUV E8. Now this model is basically an electrified version of the XUV700 as you can see from the pictures. Now of course Mahindra has not just copy pasted the XUV700 but they've also made a lot of changes so it has your modern bits and pieces of for the exterior and interior like you have your LED light bar at the front and your closed off grill. Even the interior it now has your bigger screens which are end to end of course. This model is the first one which will go on sale from Mahindra stable and will launch in December 2024. Mahindra has also confirmed that it will come with an all-wheel drive system. The second model that we will see under the XUV project will be the XUV E9. Now Mahindra hasn't revealed a lot of details but we have a hunch that this is basically a coupe version of the XUV E8 and if that's the case then we can expect a lot of part sharing and even the powertrain and everything else that you see. But of course the biggest difference will be its design. You have your nice sloping coupe like roof line and your C-shaped elements for the headlights and the tail lamps. The XCV E9 will launch in April 2025. Now the second brand that Mahindra will launch these electric cars through will be the BE brand. Now this stands for Born Electric and these cars will be electric from the ground up. The first product to launch under the BE brand will be the BE5. Now this is essentially a coupe like SUV again but it is quite small in footprint. So this model will go on sale in October 2025 and as you can see from the pictures, it is quite compact. It measures around 4370mm in length, 1900mm in width, 1635mm in height. In fact, we feel that this model could go up against Tata's curve. Even the interiors of this coupe SUV are more driver focused. So you can see your dual HD screen setup and all the controls that you see are in reach of the driver. Mahindra says that this will be a very sporty vehicle to drive, so expect good performance from this one. The second product which will follow up the BE5 will be the BE7. Now the BE7 is a more traditional SUV in the sense that it will have good space in the interiors and even the design is quite boxy like you would expect from an SUV. Of course it has your C-shaped elements for the tail lamps and the headlamps that we saw on the BE5. Now this model will launch in October 2026. The last model which we will see from the BE brand will be the BE9. Now Mahindra hasn't told us a lot about this model and in fact even the launch time frame or the dimensions or anything else 
has been confirmed yet. But what we feel about this model is that this will be the flagship product from Mahindra. Again, this is a coupe SUV, but this has a more aggressive coupe like roofline when compared to the smaller BE5. We expect this model to launch in 2027 or even much later in 2028 for that matter. So this was Mahindra's future born electric vision and we are really excited to see what they have in store for us. However, do let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Till then, this is Faisal, Rev Hard and Rev Free.